Ocampo's three-day tour of duty in Kenya ended this morning. But before his departure, the ICC prosecutor held a brief media conference and disclosed that he believed he had watertight evidence that crimes against humanity were committed in Kenya during the post-Paul chaos. I believe we have a strong case. But as you say, it's true. Judge could say no. The ICC yesterday appointed a three-judge bench to study and rule on Ocampo's application to launch investigations into the Kenyan situation next month. The judges are Hans Peter Kaul, Ekaterina Tredafilova, and Kuno Tarfusa. Ocampo decided to go this route after the two principals refused to self refer the Kenyan situation to the ICC in their meeting last Thursday. My mandate is to end impunity of the most serious crimes. I will do that. Ocampo has promised that charges for those suspected to have committed the crimes will be out before the end of 2010. This, he says, is mainly to deter recurrence of violence in the 2012 general election. I understand the importance of speed. And I'm working to be sure that during 2010, if the judges author the investigation, will be able to complete the investigations and to define who are the suspects, who are the accused that have to face justice in Kenya. But should the government manage to form a local tribunal before the ICC begins investigating and prosecuting the key Kenyan suspects, then ICC would have to stop and give room to the local tribunal. The law says primacy is in the hands of the national system. If there are genuine national proceedings against the most responsible, my duty to stop. Ocampo also refuted reports that ICC investigators were already on the ground gathering evidence, particularly in the Rift Valley, saying this could only happen if the ICC judges authorized the opening of investigations. Ocampo immediately left for South Africa. Ocampo may be gone for now, and so the masterminds of post-election violence can breathe easy, but not for long. The man will be here as soon as next year if the ICC pretrial chambers will grant him permission to launch investigations into the post-election violence. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV, at the Windsor County Club in Nairobi.